Behind the Scenes Battles, King of the Dot, Vengeance 2, brought to you by Mouse Media Productions. I'm here with my man. It's DNA, AK, Mr. Get him the fuck out of here, man. What's up? DNA, huge battle coming up this weekend. What got you to this step right here? Um, I mean, last year, you know, I did five battles um, in the total of the whole year. I took, um, who was it? I took Tech. No, actually, it was four. I took Tech Nine, I took Earl, I took Ness, and I took Center. And then I just seen a lot of top tier battle rappers, like, uh, they really wasn't like trying to get in the ring. Everybody's playing the game. Oh, I need this amount of money. Oh, I want to battle him. So I was like, yo, to start off the new year, I'm going to just battle five times out the gate. So I've been on it. I battled Kayshawn on the ninth. I just came back from Australia, and now I'm here. So that's the path that I'm on. I, like that's, that's my way of staying motivated since I've been doing this for so long. Like, let me try something new. Let me battle four times in one month. Seeing the uh, <laughs> impressive track record of your opponent, do you feel that that's affected any of your rhymes? Has it brought you to a new level, knowing that what you're going against? Yeah, I mean, um, it's definitely difficult. That's why I feel like I, I pushed the pen this time because he's battled so many people and so much stuff has been said to him. So it's challenging me to come up with something that's actually original that hasn't been already, you know what I mean, pointed out to him. So definitely, I feel the same with him. It's like, it's like two people are the same because I had so many battles and I've been told everything. Just yeah. like he has. So I, I'm, I'm wondering what he's going to come with, just like I'm sure he's wondering what I'm going to come with. Yeah, both of you's done work in uh, King of the Dot. What, what would you say is your favorite King of the Dot battle that you've done so far? Oh, hands down, disaster. Disaster. Uh, yeah, that's yep. the, I mean, I mean, but my, you know, no, no, no shots to the Soros, but, you know, I got two King of the Dot battles. I'm two for two. They're yep. both. Yeah, you know I mean, me and disaster, we, we cool now. Yeah. Like, it's not, it's not the same. You know, that battle was something that, um, that couldn't. Because, you know, I bat, like, I'm cool with the Soros. Like, we cool. So it's just, you know, we going at it. But the intensity that me and Disaster had, that couldn't even be scripted because we really didn't like each other. So I don't think it's ever going to get back to that. You know, there are friends that are foes that actually turn into friends, you know, after battling. Yeah. You know what it is? It's like in school when you always got the um, dude or maybe the two popular dudes and they just got to fight one time for them to be cool to see yeah. who's who's more popular. That's what it this was. Ain't big enough for the both yeah, of us, yeah, yeah, it's not big enough for both of us. So we got to see who's standing. But now that we did the battle, you know, a lot of fans think he won. A lot of fans think I won. And, you know, at the end of the day, we won. Both of us, King Absolutely. of the Dot and everybody that watched it. So we, we both happy with the outcome so we can, we can move on. You know, the game changed. It used to be cool to to catch a body bag now now that's like almost frowned upon like if you body your opponent the views are not high nobody wants to watch it then they start saying you didn't even get that crazy yeah. so nowadays people like classics what do you think if you could think back is your favorite bar you have ever spit oh man um probably one of them is uh when i battled t-rex and i told him um his career is like vital because his biggest highlights is off camp <laughs> now it's like one of them that's one of my favorite. What made you want to become a battler? <laughs> At first, honestly, I just seen everybody getting popular off, uh, you know, doing the battles, and I wanted to promote, promote my music. So that was my first intention doing it. Then when I started doing it, I really found found it to be an art that I like because it, it elevated from, you know, you just walk down the block, see somebody freestyle. Now it's to where you got to research, you got to bring this up, point here, have a certain delivery. Uh, now it's like wrestling. You got to have a character. like. Sure. So it, it became, it intrigued me, you know what I mean, to be the best at it. So that's why I kept going at it. And then, you know, with album sales declining and labels giving out 360 deals, it's like, you know, even if you do like doing music, it's not so promising to get signed to a label no more. Like, that's not something that people want to do. You know, even when you do music, you want to be independent. So with battling, you can create a fan base that likes you for your battles. And um, if you got good music, they like that too. So it really started from music. But now I just like it on its own without even doing it. You said you went back and said, you know, even wrestlers need a character. What character would you portray yourself as? Me? Who would I be? I think I would be like, if it's wrestling, I'd probably be like Shawn Michaels. Like I'm the, Heartbreak kid. Yeah, like the good guy. You know, everybody, they always count him out, but he always, he always shows up at the end of the day. Where's the favorite place that you've traveled so far? Canada. Canada? Yeah, mm -hmm. hands down. You know, like... And this is crazy, like, you know, sometimes battling becomes like work, like a lot of people don't know that, like, even though, you know, you could love your job, sometimes you get, you know what I mean, you feel like you don't, you don't have the same love for it anymore, and I have to say, in all my four years of battling on camera, when I battled disaster, that's like the most happiest I've ever been after a battle, like the outcome with my performance. Was that adrenaline rush for you, you know, the best you've ever had so far in your battling career? Ever. 
ever like nothing you know and it's been battles where i caught body bags and battles where you know it's debatable even some battles i might have lost but just the feeling and it wasn't even a clear win it was just because of everything that took place to get up to that battle and then how it transpired it just was like you know what i mean like i couldn't believe it do you have any projects you're working on now any albums or anything of that nature um, well, yeah, right now, um, after I do this battle, I got a battle in Colorado, and then I got Arsenal in um, London on April 27th, and then after that, I'm, I'm going to, um, you know, chill for a while and work on my music, put out a few mixtapes, and then I'm going to jump back into the battle and, like, towards the summer. Are you currently employed? No. So, full-time battler. Yeah, you know what's so funny, right, man? You know, th this is why, like I said, with certain people creating their character, you know, like, you know, certain people got an image they uphold where they don't want to, they want to make it seem like, you know, they're getting it more than they are. But, you know, me, my fans know me for keeping it real. Last year, actually, I did have a job. I was working at the U.S. Open in, um, in Queens, and I got fired <laughs> for five days. And, you know, even though I got fired or whatever, I just felt like it's a message. Like, working is not for me. You what know? was the worst job you've ever had? That one. That one. You know, I had a job as a janitor, like, when I was 14. <laughs> and, um, I mean, that was bad. But this one was worse because, you know, I got the job. I had to wear a blue U.S. Open suit. And I was taking 70 pictures a day. So I wasn't even really working. You know, everybody, DNA. Oh, DNA. Da -da -da, taking a picture. And then um, I was on the elevator because I was the elevator man, sending people up and down on the elevator. And I, um, what you gonna call it? I was watching the battle on the elevator and somebody snitched on me and they fired me. <laughs> but I was like, yo, this is not for me. I'm a battle rapper. Who do you think has given you your best battle against you? Young Ill, he had like some of the most jokes when I didn't have a tooth, X Factor 2. In terms of lyrical, I have to say Disaster's first round. That was like one of the best rounds somebody ever spit against me. And then the battle didn't come out. You know, the battle I just had with Kayshawn, his third round, like lyrically wise, was one of the best rounds somebody spit against me. So I have to say Young Ill and X Factor when it comes to the jokes and then probably Disaster and Kayshawn in terms of like lyrical. Did you ever find yourself ever wanting to stop battling? Yeah, plenty of times. Like. That's why I said with the disaster battle, that's the battle that made me like, okay, I'm going to keep doing this. Before I was like, yo, man, this is getting boring. I'm getting tired of it. And then it's like, bang, all right, cool. And then after that, you know, I, I started battling more actually after that because it's just, it's just something that, that I like to do. I like to challenge myself. And I feel like, you know, like I think we all used to get caught up in it too because we have so many people telling you, oh, battle rapping ain't shit. You're just a battle rapper. You always, uh, you heard a lot of rappers try to say, I'm not a battle rapper or, yo, I got music or I'm, I'm going to stop battling and do music. But then you got to realize like what, what do pe people don't like us for music. Whether our music is ill or not, they like us because we battle. So if this is what we're going to do, I feel like in a few years, this is something that people can make a career off of and it could be like an industry. So, you know, why not do it? Have you ever had that I've made it moment in your career so far yeah i've had that like you know it's like every battle and that's the crazy thing i don't i i can almost speak for every battle rap i don't care how many fans you got how many people you always have doubt on what people are gonna like with your lines how your performance is gonna be but it's just a certain point where you know like yo i'm i'm i'm, I'm one of the top people doing this right now seeing how dj battling helped give hip-hop its unique sound how do you feel that uh, battling has done the same for hip-hop um you know a lot of people years ago they tried to front oh he's just a battle rapper oh battling is whack but if you research from history and hip-hop battling was like one of the first things that happened before it was even an album before it was even a single or or, or a real music video you know so <coughs> battling is hip-hop you know it's, it's competitive and i feel like in hip hop, that's the problem right now. Nobody's being comp competitive. Like people don't know the medium. Like you know, being able to compete against somebody to see who's better than rather jump overboard and try to kill him because of something he said. So at first it was everybody battling, trying to see who's better. And then you know, unfortunately Pac and Big died. Then it was other situations. So now I feel like everybody just went from zero to 60. Now nobody won't say nothing to nobody because they feel it's gonna go to that extreme. 
So, like I said, battling has helped evolve hip hop. Like, if people really study from the way rhyming was in the '90s, it was more lines like, you know, Biggie said, "I get more, um, I get more butt than than ashtrays, or I get more ass than a toilet seat." And that was like the clever way to make a metaphor. Now it's you to take a word and make another word out of it that sounds like the word. So even metaphors have evolved, and it hasn't evolved through music because. Not no disrespect to them. Music has actually went backwards. Like it's actually dumbed down now. So the elevation and, and being lyrical has came from battle rap. Sure, sure. You know, so double meanings, triple meanings, entendres, like that all developed in the last four years from battling. So without battling, you know, hip hop being, which is supposed to be a lyrical aspect of, you know, music and the art form, I don't think it would have been where it is today without battling. All right, you heard it here. King of the Dot, Vengeance 2, Behind the Battles, DNA. DNA, man. Mr. Get him the fuck out of here. You already know, man. Twitter.com backslash DNA underscore GTFOH. Instagram backslash DNA underscore GTFOH. Facebook slash DNA GTFOH. <laughs> it's all the same. You know what I mean? King of the Dot, this is my third battle back. Disaster Earl and out the Soros. So we're going to see, man. Vengeance 2.